Welcome back to the second half of Appetite for Wrestling. Making their way to the ring first, the challenger. And we are starting the second half of the show with a bang, with a championship match. The LPW Challenge Championship on the line. The challenger about to step through the curtain. And it just got a little bit brighter in the rec room as the golden boy, Travis Williams, makes his way to the squared circle. Travis has been in the thick of things since his debut here in LPW. I was going to hand in a lot of people's business and making a lot of people's business his own. And right now his business is that LPW Challenge Championship currently held by RADS member Mitch Clark. Travis Williams, a man with no shortage of confidence in his ability. And your champion. But this man has been nothing short of dominant since he became the LPW Challenge Champion, defeating Terror from Accounting a number of months ago. Double pyro for Mitch Clark. And the Rads have had nothing less than a very, very stellar night. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by his manager, Judge Ben Owen, representing the Rads. Earlier tonight, T.Y. Jackson with a win over Son of Irish. Lumberjack Larry and Rich King successfully defending their LPW Tag Team titles against the Bollywood Boys. And the Rads looking for a clean sweep here at LPW Appetite for Wrestling. But this may be the stiffest challenge that Mitch Clark has faced thus far. And these two men, neither one of them short on confidence, but that intangible, with all due respect to Zoe Sager, Ben Omen in the corner of Mitch Clark. The Golden Boy's got to have that golden head on a swivel. We are set. for our second of three title bouts. Hopefully my voice holds up the second half of this show. And starting off hot. Both men locking it up in the middle, firing off shots. I'm not sure if trying to match strikes is the best choice of offense for Travis Williams, but nonetheless still on his feet and getting the better of Mitch Clark. Clark able to switch and now firing in shots of his own. Single leg takedown. Travis Williams able to kick him off right down to the floor. Keep an eye on the golden boy. Suicide dive. Right on target. Back inside the ring is Travis Williams and he might be looking to hit it one more time. Big suicide dive sets Clark into that second row. And he's feeling it early on. Oh, 
Travis Williams might be looking for the trifecta. Charging those ropes. Clark wanted no part of that, but Williams able to slide. Suicide dive through onto the stage, but he got caught. Caught up in the fireman's carry. Williams able to shift his weight down and shove him into that corner post. Tornado DDT on that stage. That stage solid concrete, by the way. And everything working for the Golden Boy early on. He might be looking to steal that title really quickly. He was close and he knows it. Turning his attention to Ben Owen on the ringside area. He's got to keep his eyes peeled and his offense focused on the champion. Hammer locking in the arms. Shoved off by Clark. Knocking that clothesline into that backbreaker. Almost like a Uranagi. That's how quickly the tide can turn. The pedigree of Mitch Clark never in question. The toughest professional wrestlers you will find, not in Edmonton, not in Alberta, not in Canada, but maybe the planet Earth. And when he can slow things down and work his style, that is when he is most dangerous. And you're seeing a prime example right now. Firing hard in the buckle goes Williams. Overhead exploder suplex. <laughs> Going for a cover, but Williams out. <laughs> Clark likes to come to the ring with the track suits and the, the glasses. But when you strip all that away, He's only got one speed, and that is forward, Dragon Screw. And this may not be a bad choice of offense from Williams if he can keep those legs out from under. And Mitch Clark, that might take away a lot of his offense. Standing switch able to go behind, got a hold of the arms. Suplex hurled him halfway across the ring. No bridge, all impact. All high on the shoulders and the back of the head, going for another quick cover. I was to be joined by Thaddeus Archer, but he's stepped away, and I'm not the least bit sad about that. Clark having words with the official. But after that early flurry of offense from Travis Williams, it's been all Clark, light and choke. The referee having to get physical to restrain. He may have saved himself with disqualification, not sure that he cares. Right back in, right back on him. Clubbing across the back. Still two more big matches after this. That scramble coming up next to that main event, Mark Wheeler. Making the long trip from Ontario here to Alberta to take on LPW Grand Champion, Michael Richard Blaze. And that clothesline almost sent Williams out of his boots. through. That's uh, uncalled for, but nonetheless, going for a cover. Out at two, we've seen Travis Williams be able to absorb a great deal of punishment. And he's going to have to if he's got any hope of unseating Clark to become the new challenge champion. That's something I never thought I'd hear in an LPW venue as a chant for the Golden Boy, but this is where we are. Williams trying to keep that center of gravity low to be avoid, avoid being taken over. Dropping down to the knee, firing in shots into that rib area. Able to hit that vertical suplex of his own. Quick to follow up with the cover, hook the leg. Williams looking to go high risk, looking to use that speed, that athleticism, and that high risk offense. 
Took a little too much time heading up to the top. Got caught by Clark. Clark going to follow him up. There's only one way to go, and that is down. Big exploder off the middle rope. He threw him three quarters of the way across the ring, and he hit hard. That could be the beginning of the end of this one. Right shoulder off the canvas, much to the chagrin of Ben Owen on the floor. In his rad summer all year long. You heard it up. Now, Clark just toying with his food. And that might just be pissing off the Golden Boy, spinning in the face of the champion. I don't know if that was a wise move. But it happened and we all have to deal with it. The European uppercut staggers. Williams down to the canvas, but dragged right back to his feet into another. Williams' emotions perhaps getting the best of him and paying the price. Williams trying to get you to use the the body of Clark to get back up to his feet. Gut wrench, show of power. Williams able to escape and hit that leaping into Gurry. He's gonna charge in, hit the elbow, gonna charge in again, caught that boot. Right hand, flurry of strikes from the golden boy. Clark across. Went in for the elbow. Nobody home. Ooh, caught him with that kick. Nicely done. Charging in again. Sandwich him in the corner with that drop kick. Confidence growing in Travis Williams. In again. Another high drop kick. Snapping his head back against that turnbuckle. Mitch Clark in a bad way. Back elbow. He may be looking for one more drop kick. Got caught onto the shoulder. German suplex held on to the grip. Travis Williams maintaining waist control. Able to hit a second. A little bit of a delay on that one made him think about it. Could be looking for the try. Oh, Clark stomping on the foot before hitting the goal behind. Nicely done. Williams rolling through, got a hold of the ankle, shoulders down. Clark escaping a two. Travis charging the corner again, up and over, gonna land on that apron. Slingshot in with that DDT. Going for the cover, this could be enough. We could see new champion. Clark out of two again. Ben Omen looking a little worried out on the floor. Travis Williams emptying the clip on Mitch Clark. Not every day you get a shot for a championship. Ben Ullman in the ring, dragging Clark back out and down to the floor. I mean, that was blatant as... Referee dealing with Ben Ullman. T.Y. Jackson just hit the ring. Super kick to the side of the face. Son of Irish has emerged. These two went to war earlier. And that shillelagh or whatever it is right between the eyes. Clark had choice words for Son of Irish earlier tonight. Golden Boy hit that double arm DDT. Are we going to see a new champion? Referee out on the floor dealing with the situation with Ben Ullman inside the ring. That extra little bit of time might have cost Travis Williams 10 pounds of gold. 
Son of Irish on the stage making sure that T.Y. Jackson will not be a factor in this matchup going forward. Waist lock, go behind from the champion. Williams holding onto that top rope for dear life, firing an elbow, is able to go behind himself. Rolling through, shoulders down. A little trouble locking that pin in. Kicked out of that pin into that Cobra Clutch. We've seen this win match after match after match for Mitch Clark. And it's going to win him another one. Referee quickly calling for the bell. And it's a clean sweep for the Rats. Three up, three down. Son of Irish back in the ring. And you know the words that were spoken to him are rattling around inside the skull of this young man. telling him to quit the business. Second generation, this business is in his blood. It's all he's known since he was a child. Travis Williams put up a hell of a fight, but it was not meant to be as Ben Ullman and Mitch Clark celebrate another successful defense. We are going to roll on. Travis Williams. Travis Williams. He knows he was close. He will live to fight another day. We are going to move on.